Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to war I'm going to be working on the section that's going to come after this, which is going to be a brand, which is going to be a bar here that's going to display brands, different brands from the brands that we have in our website. So here, what I'm going to do in the uh, HTML, first I'm going to add a uh, comment and then I'm going to add brand. I'm going to say brand because this is going to display the brands that we have. So for this section, I'm going to create a section and I'm going to give this section ID and the ID is going to be just brand. And I'm going to give it also a class. The class is also going to be the container class. And inside that section, I want to display a row. I want you to say dev. And then I'm going to give it a class called row. So what this row does is that it, it divides the page into rows and columns. And you can divide the page into uh, columns up to 12 columns because Bootstrap divides the page into 12 columns. And you can display something on one, on uh, on each one of these co these columns. Or you can let an item take a specific number of columns. For example, you can divide the page into three columns, where each column is gonna where each item is gonna take four columns, a maximum of 12. And this is going to be clear once I finish. Here, uh, I'm going to add images. So the first image, I'm going to say here, image. And then I'm going to give this image a class, first a class called uh, image fluid, which is going to make the image responsive. This is a uh, bootstrap class. Next, I'm going to say column large 3. So this is going to take to let the image take three columns out of twelve, which means that for each single row there will be four columns. There will be four columns because because each one will take three. For medium screens, I'm gonna say column medium. For medium screens, I'm gonna let each column take six. Uh, I'm gonna let each uh, image take six columns which means that two images will be displayed per column, per, uh, per row. For, for uh, small screens, I'm going to say 12, which means that only one image will be displayed uh, in case, the, um, in case the, the, the screen is small, only one image will be displayed per row. And the source is going to be equal to assets for slash images, and then for slash the name of the image. So I'm gonna say here, uh, I'm gonna say here, brand one dot jpeg, and I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna paste it four times: one, two, three, and we have four. So again, here, column large three means that each image will have. Uh, three columns. E each image will take three columns. And uh, since each image will take three columns and we can only have three, or we can only have th uh, 12 columns per row, there will be four images per row if the screen is large. If the screen is medium, six columns for each item, which means that two images will be displayed per row. If the screen is small, only one image will be displayed per row. Let me now save and show you how it's going to look like. So here, as you can see, it's at the bottom. But, but the problem is that they aren't being displayed here because I didn't, I didn't add the images yet. Let me add the images. So I'm going to open up the images folder. And then I have these images. I'm going to drag these images and drop them onto the images folder. So we have this, and this, and this, and this one two three four so we have this so we have four images we have four logos these are the four logos that I'm going to be displaying now now the the names are brand one brand two brand three brand four JP so here you need to make sure that the names are brand one and then brand two and then brand three and then brand four. 
dot jpeg and uh, now if I refresh the images will be displayed like this it looks amazing as you can see we have these brands and uh, each brand will be displayed on uh, will take um, um, three columns so this is three 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 which means twelve in case the screen is small only one image will be displayed in case the screen is medium two images will be displayed so this is the power of using bootstrap it, it makes it gives you a control over what you want to display per row and per column 